Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this section, we will talk about the success stories of some of the most accomplished African entrepreneurs. There is an abundance of amazing business opportunities in Africa and our goal is to inspire you in your own entrepreneurial journey. But before we start, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to click the bell icon to be notified for future videos. video, we will talk about Mohamed Daufi, the CEO of Cure Bionics, a startup that makes bionic prosthesis for people with disabilities. At Cure Bionics, we believe that true superheroes don't wear a cape, but a prosthesis. That's why we want to present more superheroes to the world, says Mohamed Dwafi, determined to put his mark on a sector that is currently experiencing a resounding boom, artificial intelligence. At only 28 years old, this young Tunisian is at the head of Cure Bionics, a startup that makes bionic prosthesis for people with disabilities, a technological feat that earned him his entry into the prestigious Forbes 2020 ranking of the 30 most innovative young people in the Arab region. Designed from an ecological material, these 3D printed prostheses are fully adjustable that can fit the morphology of each wearer, including growing children. Based on artificial intelligence, these devices are easily controlled by muscle signals, so no surgery is required to connect them to the amputated limb. In addition, they have a solar-powered battery. With his innovation, this graduate of the National School of Engineers of Swasi aims to offer people with reduced mobility more than prosthesis, but another way to shape and inspire the world. At Cure Bionics, our mission is to promote the inclusion of people with disabilities and also to help them perceive this difference as an opportunity, even a superpower to inspire others, Mohammed enthused in an interview with TAP. It also notes that it is up to young people to lead change. Already on the benches of the university, the young engineer was concerned about the empowerment of people with disabilities. It is by participating in 2016 in a student competition that he imagines his first prototype of prosthesis, which was at the time mechanical. Therefore, he decided to further develop this prototype so that it would be best suited to the needs of people with disabilities. Determined to pursue his ambitions, Mohammed had to not only tap into his own funds, but also give up an attractive internship offer in Canada. His hard work and self-sacrifice finally allowed him to present his prototype by Onik Hand as a graduation project. This process took him eight months. Throughout this period, he went to meet many amputees, including an eight-year-old child who lost his hand and leg to electrocution. He was in very bad shape and his mother, for lack of means, was not able to provide him with prosthesis. That's when he made the decision to design prosthetics that were tailored to each child's unique needs and accessible at an affordable price. In the medium term, Mohammed aims to export his prosthesis through the African continent and give his company an international reputation, but the priority for him today remains Tunisia. He has only one goal in mind to contribute to the economic development of his country and to encourage other young people of his generation to follow suit. We, young artists, creators, entrepreneurs, and scientists are capable of moving our country forward. It is up to us to lead change. You just have to dare and want, he insists. Dear friend, this concludes the video, Mohamed Dwafi. If you also want to boost your revenue through the power of digital, click on the link below this video to join our accelerated training in digital marketing. Give it to us from Raised Push and see you in the next video. Until then, keep smiling.